In our previous assignment, we've learned how to move the robotic arm by mate controller from one element to the default position and to another element and again back to the default position. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to grab one element and then move it to another place. So let's go to the SOLIDWORKS. And currently I have two elements from the assignment two, and I will insert one more component to our assembly. Then I click on mate, and I made these two parts. I made this element to the robotic arm and effector. So the idea is the following that I need to grab the object by my robotic arm, by the end effector, and locate it on another table. So first of all, we need to click on motion study. After that, we need to click on animation wizard. Here we select mate controller, click on next, next, and here we can set up the particular time. So if we set up, for example, two seconds, it will mean that we simply wait for two seconds, then we execute our animation. So, for example, if currently I click calculation, we simply wait for two seconds, then our robot execute the program from the mate controller we created before. So now I need to work on that animation. So again, here I have three elements. So first of all, the element <coughs> should be located on this table and other two elements should be hidden from the space. Then our robotic arm approach to that element, grab it, move to the back position and then locate it on this table. So at first state, only this element should be activated on scene and these two elements should be hidden. So this element should be hidden. So I click on right button, hide. And also I hide this element. Example one, two, also hide this element. Then my robotic arm approach to this position. <clears throat> Here I need to activate the element on the end effector and hide this element on the first table. So here I activate the... First of all, I hide this example one model. I hide it here on this state. And after that, I also need to click here interpolation mode, snap. And I need to activate the model attached to the end effector. So here I click show. And also in order to see the changes here I need to click right button, interpolation mode, snap. So after that the robot will move to the default position and then we need to place our object to another place here. So at this position I need to activate element which is located at this place and hide the element attached to the end effector of the robot. So at this position I disable object attached to the end effector. Here I click hide. Interpolation mode snap and activate the element which is located here. So this element I need to activate show and change its state to snap. So now next we click calculate and play our animation again. So now we can see only one element here. Robot approach, we grab it, then we place it to another table. So after that you need to save the animation as a video file. Click 
click on save and select this compressor okay no yes and the animation will be saved after this procedure of movements so this video file you need to upload to the assignment so the size of it should be really small so you without any problems will upload it to the assignment <laughs>